Hi guys, welcome to Unbox. I'm your host DFX. Another little impromptu unboxing for you all. Um, just got this, got this big, big old box in the mail, um, and it's coming from a, an interesting location, Playmobil. Um, there's something I've been trying to get my hands on since it came out earlier this month, the month of well July. We're going into August here, but I. Uh, I pre-ordered, well, I, I tried to pre-order this, and I put my red order in for it, and I it got, well, it, it got canceled because they were out of stock. So, about a week later, I tried again, and showed up today. Um, it is the 29th of July. Um, so, let's get into it. Of course, again, once again, I don't have a knife on me, but big decent sized box but like I said I've been trying to get this for oh yeah since earlier this month um, it's one of my favorite shows um, when I was growing up as a kid and I then I saw it you know I, I had to get on it I don't have too much other than the actual series on blu-ray of this item and always love the show and oh all right well, first off the bat, I got a, a free little little figure that, to go with this set. I'll put it together and show you guys what that looks like here in a minute. But right off the bat, you know, like I said, one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid, Knight Rider. <laughs> and I got it finally. And I'm just really excited about this. Like, I, I learned earlier this year about this. And they, since, you know, Playmobil is based in Germany, people have been doing YouTube openings and stuff all throughout um all the youtube channels out of germany and um yeah here's the box i've been told it talks and there's well, the three characters i'll get with it and in the back here but yeah i'm i'm super excited for this um i didn't know when it, it got here quicker than i thought so let me open this up for you guys, show you what it is. Let me, just the camera here. Alrighty then. Let's go a little deeper down here. Alright, so, that's been kind of opened already. But surprisingly, I got this really quick and, like, I ordered this, like, when I ordered it, tried to order it for a second time, like, I didn't have any problems, um, but then it, it showed up today. Very. I know it's gonna take up some other assembly to do here. All right, so right off the bat, wow, they're they're quite warm. It's been sitting in, in a UPS truck most of the day here. But here we go. We got Michael Knight figures, Bonnie Barstow, and finally Devin Miles. And the instruction booklet. Kit unassembled right now, but I will get her assembled here pretty soon here. And this comes in two little bits. But you can see the detail already. Got the the kit console and stuff. Uh, I'll click that back on. But yeah, when I was growing up as a kid in my little town, I loved this show. Um, it's probably one of my, hang on guys, all-time favorite shows. I have it on Blu-ray. But I remember a time back in 1985 when um, I got to go to Universal Studios and I got to sit it took me about three hours, I think, like I was in line for three hours. I actually got to sit in kit. And that was always something really cool um, that I loved doing. Uh, I think I asked, you know, it wasn't, you know, at the time it was not Kit's original voice who's played by William Daniels. But they had somebody, like, probably on a mic, like, behind the scenes going... 
wanting me to ask him a question. I said, where's the turbo boost? And they directed me where the turbo boost button is. I couldn't find it still, but I got somewhere close and I pressed it. Nothing happened. The car didn't jump off into a, a, a different area or anything. Because I remember this attraction at Universal, like when you get to sit and kit, you would also be like, here, it's a little console, I'll get the stickers on here too. Um, you would also just, you, it would just sit there and it was kind of overlooking, it was kind of on top of like a, like a lake or a pond or something, or a pool of water. It's kind of different. I wish I still had some of those pictures, but I don't. So, but let's see, what else is in here? Other little bits. Let me open it up and dump all the stuff out here. Uh, dump little hand cuff things, and sticker sheet. Um, let's see. Let get the tires going here. Let's see. Let's go down once again down here. Let's see. Um, you guys can see that. But I've got, I've been very impressed with what Playmobil does with their line when it comes to recreating shows. And I mean, I have all the Back to the Future ones, and that's always been really cool. Um, let me get the tires in there like that. But yeah, I have all the Back to the Future line. Of Playmobil stuff. I hope they're not completely done with that line because they they can still do some stuff. And now that they have this line, they can definitely do some other things with it. I'm hoping they maybe they will do the semi that Kit goes into. That would be really cool. Let's see. There we go. Tire one. Put the little cap on it. Cool. It's already looking like. I'm gonna bring it back up a tiny bit here. But here's the tire, the first tire. Um, like I said, this is quite impromptu. I had, I was gonna do a video as soon as I got this because, like I said, I've been waiting a while for it. Um. I guess one of my, I can say something. Um, one of my favorite episodes of Night Rider would have to be when the, I think it's called Night of the Juggernaut, and it's when Kit pretty much gets destroyed by this tank vehicle, and it took place in Chicago, and um, it's when it's the episode I think it was the beginning of the fourth season where Kit gets super pursuit mode. Um, yeah, that's always going to be a one I'll remember from the entire series. Yeah. I, I would hope they, they did make this so it could be convertible. Like, it'll become a convertible towards the end of that episode, Night of the Juggernaut. Um, but I was really hoping they'd add some bits to this and he could be in a, he could make it Super Pursuit Mode Kit. But that's okay. I'm going to have to probably pause this here in a second while I get all this together. Um, wheel two. Let's see. Um, yeah, growing up, for me, it was always Dukes of Hazard, Knight Rider, A-Team. Um, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, there it is. I, was like, I lost the other the other wheel. That would have just ruined my whole day. Um, so let me see here. Wow. Okay. Let me pause right there for a sec, and I'll I have to look for a piece. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I just got lost. It got lost in the box. The piece I was looking for was another, another wheel. Um, you get these other little pieces you attach that will attach to kit, the body itself, and those pieces 
from that, you'll be able to snap on the wheels, like here. There's one. The front wheels got there. Then we do the ones for the back. See, they're little attachment pieces. This is a little different from the DeLorean that I also own um, from Back to the Future. Um, let's see, snaps in like that. See, there's that. And then there's one. With, there's four of those. These little attachment pieces. Um, and the final one like that. So there, there's Kit. Okay, looking looking sharp there. Um, now I, I should probably look at the instructions a little more here. Um, but yeah, okay. Now how do you turn it on? Do I have to put the batteries in? I don't think so. Maybe so. But here's the basic shell of kit. Um, be right back, guys. Um, I'll look at some of this instructions here, and I'll show you. Hi, guys. Back at, with you. Um, had a little assembly to do. But here kit is in all his glory. And I've already got Michael up front driving. Um, cool thing about this Playmobil, it has actually talking uh, sound clips voiced by William Daniels, who played Kit in the original series. Um, let me get those going for you here. Maybe. I'm the voice of Light Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T for easy reference, Kit if you prefer. Then you just touch the little thing on top of the hood here. Got the sound of the sensor. Michael, that was no accident. Michael, what shall I do while you're gone? Yes, well, don't you think you should pre program me in the event you don't return? Right away, Michael. You seem to be repositioning my main power booster. And then you can shut him down as well. And it turns off the car. But I'm really impressed with this model, um, this Playmobil. And I just, it's very cool. Um, you can see him talk inside the compartment when it lights up. And you probably could get that from when you could see the scanner going. Um, also, some added, like I said, there were other figures involved in this. I got Bonnie with her little clipboard and camera. Um, she comes with accessory, a little toolbox kit. There's a lot of tools that it's pretty cool. Um, she's got a little workbench and computer with a little handheld telephone because it's from the 80s, so there was no cell phones yet. And then Devin comes with can, comes with a little chair. Whoops. <laughs> and there's sitting in his chair and a little desk. And then you can put, he also comes with a little desktop telephone you can put on his desk and a little computer monitor where he can monitor and jot stuff down on his computer um, really it was a very easy assembly I just I had some issues finding some of the bits because there are several um, let me get this back on here and I can show you what they kind of look like sitting all together uh, <clears throat> But so let me flip the camera around. But there they all are on the box. And I wanted to thank you all for joining me today. And until next time, and I'll leave a link below if you wanna get pick up your own from Playmobil. Um and I want to you can also follow me on Twitter at DFX1701, all in caps on Instagram at DFX1701 in lowercase. And you can also now follow me on TikTok at DFX1701 in lowercase. And until next time, live long and prosper. Hi guys, one last thing. I got so excited opening Kit up. I also forgot right off the bat, I did get a special free figure with this. Um, 
And here he is. Uh, he, he's got many different costumes and stuff that can be interchanged. I put him in a, his racing outfit just to kind of go along with Kit and Knight Rider and stuff. Um, but he can also be like a caveman, um, like just a like a hip happening dude, hip hop guy. I mean, but I went with the race car guy, and he's won the Golden Cup. Um, again, thanks for watching. Live long and prosper.